here with another exciting video for you all today. If you hear any jingling at all during the video, I apologize. My dog decided that she hates me and has to be in the filming room today. Anyway, so I know this is not a Shoujo Stereotype Series video. I'm really, really sorry, but sometimes when you just have an idea for a video, you follow your heart and it takes you to where you are. And this week I wanted to do an exciting unboxing video! Yay! I used to do um, subscription box unboxing videos for a couple of months, um, but because of financial stuff I wasn't able to do those. However, I am very happy to announce that in just a couple months I will be able to start those again and keep them consistent. Um, if there is a subscription box you want to see me unbox, please let me know down below. Anyway, one of my Patreons, who is a wonderful, amazing, awesome person named Michael, recently got me into this um, mobile game called Fate Grand Order. Um, I had heard of the Fate Stay Night series, I had heard of Fate Zero, and I had heard about the visual novel stuff that was associated with this series. I, however, had very little knowledge on what actually went into the series period. I knew there was a master servant situation, but I didn't know how far it went. Uh, I knew there was lots of cute girls. <sighs> There's so many cute girls. Anyway, Fate Grand Order uh, is a really awesome mobile game that's like fighting and strategy and cards and stuff that came out, uh, I think, in 2014. Me, being the slow bus that I am, I didn't download it until a couple weeks ago, and I've been obsessed. I am all about games where there's cute girls, fighting strategies, and just a lot of awesome story elements going on. Fate Grand Order is one of those amazing games. I've been rotating between the Love Live game and Fate Grand Order. My days are taken up with my phone. Aha! So, the figure that my wonderful patron got me is of my absolute favorite girl, um, Joan d'Arc. Uh, she is early on in the game, but I really, really like her spirit and her character design. As a cosplayer, when you see a game and there's lots of cute girls, you're instantly like, I have no idea who she is, but I want to cosplay her and be her and just enjoy that costume. Which sounds really creepy and really superficial, but that's just how I feel like a lot of cosplayers work. And it gets you into new series. So I'm going to stop talking and open up this box. Right off the bat, um, you can tell that it has a lot of really pretty side art. Um, and actually, he got this off of Amazon, so I will post the link um, down below. It was a reasonably priced figure, um, which is really nice and it's hard to find nowadays. I know people, some people like to keep them in the box, but I'm not one of those people. I was the kid that like got expensive Barbies and then played with them immediately. So, there's so much tape. I should have gotten scissors because now I'm going to ruin this figure. Okay. Anyway. Alright. Oops. Alright. So, I found the stand. I thought I broke something. I did not break something, it's just the stand. Um, obviously, figures are always nicely wrapped, and this is a really nice sized um, stand. I know this is a weird thing to emphasize, but as someone who collects pops, who collects figures, having a nice stable stand is so much nicer than trying to balance some of the figures who don't actually have stands. Um, there's more tape. It comes in bubble wrap. Um, and obviously this isn't one of those overly expensive figures. Um, if it's wrapped up in cardboard and stuff, it's obviously not going to be the most pricey of figures. But it's something that I really, really wanted, and I really like it. Um, oh, it's in plastic, but look how beautiful she is. Oh, it's so much more than I wanted it to be. Yay, so I got her out. She's beautiful. Um, so I... As a person who really, really likes art, I collect art prints all the time, and I know I've mentioned earlier about uh, figures, but um, the art on this is really, really well done, as well as just um, the whole flowy factor. You can probably see her skirt is floating, and um, her hair is floating, and it's just, it's a very pretty effect. It's not just a stable standing in one position. She looks like she's about to, about to um, cast a spell and then kick your ass. So that's really nice. Um, her shoes, I was really worried that the heels are going to go in, but you could probably see that it does have the two 
uh, nice good sized slots to go into the, uh, the stand, which is really nice. And she comes with this sword, which is really nice. It looks like you can actually take the sword out, which is really nice. I like figures where you can adjust things a little bit. Um, only concern I have is you can probably see on her little um, crown thing, one of the sides is a little closer to her face, but I'm not overly upset about that. That's fine. You can, it's not like it's covering her eye. Um, Joan uh, or Jean, whatever, is, is my favorite just because uh, Moon Cross is really nice, but she also uses like a giant um, flag to fight, and as someone who did color guard, it was instantly like, yes. And her super abilities is, are really, really nice. Um, she can heal your entire party as well as make you all. So she can heal you and then as well as make you invincible for a round, which is really nice when you start needing to fight other servants. Um, so let's see how easily and how stably this is going to stay into the... Oh, yes. So it didn't take much effort. I just slid it right in and it's staying right where it needs to be um, in the stand. She is so wonderful. I, I always wonder, because she has the tidy little, like I guess, boob physics on why uh, she has this armor right here, but it wouldn't cover right here, but that's okay. She has kind of a lot of chain mail stuff going on. I think they did a good job of doing, um, in character design, of doing the historical person's aesthetic in that she is not just wearing like a chainmail bikini, that she actually has some sort of protection, and you can tell that she's wearing like long socks and stuff and that she can handle herself, but it's it's really nice. Um, I really, really enjoy this figure. Um, she's beautiful. Like I said, I really love this floating effect going on back here because it really just adds to the presentation of the figure and I would love to get more figures from this game um, like I said the only other main character I know from like the series is Saber and I just found out the other day that there's more than one uh, Saber uh, I know there's Saber class but uh, more than one Saber what's the word I'm looking for oh based on King Arthur like the girl uh, who's based on King Arthur, who I always see, like, I always just thought she had different colored outfits. I didn't realize that she, she was different people. Um, but playing the games was really nice. I know I mentioned the games earlier, and this is the part where I'm going to have just be like, you never even watch the anime. But it is a really good game to play if you've never seen the series. Like, you can enjoy it and understand what's going on without having to go back and watch the anime and read the visual novels and all that different stuff. It's a good introduction, so if you want to explore the rest of the series, you absolutely can. Um, this was just a fun little unboxing. I would give her basically a 10 out of 10. She is so beautiful and I cannot wait to put her with my other figures. That was my unboxing video. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Um, if you want me to unbox other figures, or if you want to talk to me about this series or another anime series, I would love to talk to you. Just comment down below, give this video a like, and hit subscribe. From me to you, I love you lots, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> dun 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 dun! I've officially added her to the rest of my figures. I collect pops, but she's with my other anime figure, and she picks in perfectly! Yay! Yeah.